We're all suited up and ready to go diving. Let's jump in. I'm diving with my daughter, Sophia. She's advanced certified with Nitrox. We're diving on the Jupiter Rec Trek. We're greeted on the bottom by a nurse shark. We're diving to a depth of around 90 feet maximum and have steel 100 cubic foot tanks. Stretching from south to north, you start off with the bow of the Zion train and then go to a small dredge, Miss Jenny, and then finally to the Esso Bonaire 3. We're breathing 32% oxygen on this nitrox mix, which will give us a longer bottom time. We're at the first wreck, the Zion train, which was a 164 foot freighter. Only the stern section remains intact. We're going to explore the inside of the Zion train. It's listed over at about 45 degrees. And we're not alone. That was a Goliath grouper and one of the primary reasons why we're diving on this trek. Waiting to see if he'll come back out. And he's hiding around the other side of this door. I'm going to give him some room and go around on the outside. The spear hanging down is for lionfish hunting. This is a nice short swim through so Sophia can follow us through.
It's hard to tell from the camera, but Goliath groupers can be 800 pounds and 8 feet long. We're now approaching the dredge. The compartments within the rusting hole provide refuge for lots of small fish. Here we have a pair of blue angelfish. It looks like the nurse shark knows the way. I'm sure this isn't his first set of scuba divers. We're at 87 feet with 30 minutes of no decompression time. Sophia's turn behind the camera. This shark has some stowaways. Remoras don't add any benefit to the shark. The remora get a free ride and possibly a free meal. We're now at the bow of the Esso Bonaire 3. This is a lemon shark. They can grow up to 11 feet and 400 pounds. They look aggressive, but there's only been 11 unprovoked shark attacks and none were fatal. We're 
we're going to explore the inside of the SL Bonaire III. The ship was built in 1939 as an oil carrier and is 146 feet long. In 1989, she was caught with 50,000 pounds of marijuana hidden in the hull. The ship was seized by the Coast Guard and sunk later that year as an artificial reef. We're looking at 35 years of growth. The holes in the side of the ship were cut to allow divers to egress. The toilet on a boat is called a head, and this marine head hasn't been cleaned in quite some time. Hover, but don't sit. We're looking out the stern of the ship. Our time is running out and it's time to return to the surface. <laughs> 